Greetings, salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. We are at the Goodwill in Santa Ana on Grand. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, we are in the handbag section and checking out the baggy bags. Ooh, look at the color on this. The Quen. Have you guys ever heard of that brand? It's like a hard box, kind of like Ramoa style, like crossbody bag. That's kind of cute. Genuine leather. This is. Oh, this is Brooks Brothers. This is nice. Brooks Brothers. Cool. Oh, look at this DVF right in front of it. Beautiful. This is leather too. Very nice. This one's ten dollars. This is cool. It does have a little discoloration on the handles, but that's fine. It's the handles, right? Got some fun red leather bags so far. This little lunch pail style bag. This is pleather. Anything else? I like the shape of this, but that's a leather bag as well. What is this one right here? This feels like it might be a leather as well. <laughs> I like this little turn locky thing in the front. This is a fossil. It's like an older style for sure. This one's only $7.99. Should we get this one? Maybe. Cause it's not in bad shape. I'm gonna think about it. I should have gotten the cart while I was up at the front, huh? <laughs> I just spotted this. It was on the floor of the little rack right there in Amy Kessenberg. This is cute. It has some wear on the hardware right there, but the style of the bag is super duper cute. So we like that. Oh, we're finding a lot of bags here. There's a Nine West right there. Esprit. TKNY, Steve Madden, Vera Bradley, there's a black Vera Bradley. Let's check out this little section of here of the wallets. This is Jessica Simpson. That one is peeling intensely. This is a Target piece. Cotton Heritage. Little bows are kind of interesting. Where is this from? With a pink tag. Hmm. Oh, I did just find a Pura though. I wonder if this still works. I know these are super expensive because I have a couple. Do I want this? Maybe. Doesn't have a price though. I just find this fossil wallet. I don't know if it had like if it faded intensely. I think it did fade. <laughs> it's like probably out of the sun. Um, how much is this guy? Five ninety nine. This is a possibility. Honestly, it's in such good condition. Maybe we can do like a like a wash of orange on it. Okay, we found these Veja shoes. I think I'm gonna get these to sell at the crossroads. They're only $7.99. Also check out my cart. I just found this letter C anthropology mug. I might get this. Let's look at the glasses and crystal wear first and see if there's anything interesting here. I just found this yellow hydro flask, $8.99. This one's pretty nice condition. Not the worst, but don't need that for now. They have these giant Sausalito plates from Pottery Barn. These are so nice. They're $2.99. I don't need them. I wonder if these are also Pottery Barn underneath. These are huge. Ikea? Oh my gosh. How did I know? I don't know what this one is. Um, Homer Laughlin? This one's also an Ikea plate. Right here, yep. Ah, this is what I want. This is in Pottery Barn, I think. Oh yeah, these are just like ginormous, like plate 
bowl things. So nice. But don't need. What other goodies do they have over here? I wonder if they have any more of these floating around. Also, what is this? One. Everything is going to fall over. These are interesting. Fine porcelain china, Yorkshire, Japan. Those are nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop it. We actually have a whole set of these. I bought two of these here last time. These are Potter Barn Owl plates, $4.99. If these go on sale, I'll buy them off. They're still here. But the color of the day is yellow, so those are on sale. Last time I was in the store, they had a $1,500 like Ralph Lauren chair sitting right over there. It's been purchased, but it's okay. Those leather chairs actually look pretty comfy. I think they might be like an older style, but like, I kind of like the legs on them. Hmm. Hey guys, we are back at the house. I'm super excited to show you guys what we ended up getting today at the thrift store. So let's jump into this guy first. I'm hoping this thing is still working. Um, but this is a Pura. So... These are these like little scent devices that you like plug into your wall and then they connect to your Wi-Fi. They control the different like you could put two different scents inside of here and they that they automatically diffuse throughout your home, blah 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 blah. And I have a few of these already. Um two of them I actually got at the thrift and they have been working wonderfully and I love them. They also serve as like little night lights too. So then at nighttime, they will like turn on and illuminate the walkways where they are. And so I, I it's kind of cool. So, and you can change the color of the lights. So that's like a little added bonus to it. But yeah, these things are pretty expensive. So I'm hoping this thing works. I got it for $2.99 since I didn't have a price tag, but they gave it to me for $2.99 when I asked at the register. So that was a really cool little Pura gadget right there so that was awesome then i got this really adorable goosebumps wallet it's brand new beware you're in for a scare do you guys remember this book i used to read goosebumps when i was little so this just brought back some memories this is literally brand new the wristlet also is removable which is great so yeah goosebumps this was a uh, a collab with Creepsville. You know they did like a TV show that recently came out too, right? Um, okay, then I got this DVF satchel. Very cool. It's very Birkin-like. It's this beautiful bright red color. Gold hardware. Stunning. So spacious. Has so many compartments. Look at that. And there's also a pocket in the back with a magnetic snap. And then down below, it actually like zips around and then it actually expands. So, and this is nice and long. It does sit on your shoulder. This kind of looks like a Birkin. Also reminds me of, there's the Parenthes Schooler PS1 shoulder bag. It kind of looks like this as well. So this resembles a lot of, like a lot of different bags, but it's beautiful. DVF. And I feel like I don't pick up enough of her bags. I also don't find that many as well, but. Let me know if you guys like her bags. I know her dresses, her clothing is like super popular. She has a line at Target right now too. This is next. This is a vintage Dooney and Burke wallet. I didn't notice that it had some pen marks right there. But this is in the black all-weather leather. Um, it's in pretty good condition considering how old it is. This one is actually pre-tag. Um, like so it... it like the bags have like little tags now that say Dooney Burke like made in. But this is definitely made in USA. It also had, does have the old hardware right there as well. So thought this was super cool. My mom used to have this bag when I was little. So really cool piece. Very nostalgic for me. Then up next I have this awesome coach crossbody. This is a crossbody flat back in this black pebbled leather. It has this contrasting cream stitching silver hardware. It even still has the original hang tag on the side. It has a little bit of wear around their turn lock right there, but otherwise it's in pretty good shape. I also love that the inside is this beautiful like maroon fabric. $25. Pretty clean on the inside too. It's nice and clean. There also is a nice big 
Oh no, I'm lying. There isn't a back pocket. Why did I think there was a back pocket there? Um, no back pocket, but the, the bag is plenty spacious enough, so you don't need a back pocket. But the crossbody strap is adjustable as well. There we go. That is our beautiful Coach crossbody bag. And then last but not least, I have this beauty for you. This is a Mark by Marc Jacobs crossbody like tote bag. Um, it is unfortunately missing the crossbody aspect of it. It does have the D rings on the interior though. So it has the rings on the inside that you can attach crossbody strap to. But you don't really need one. You can just use this as a tote. The handles are long enough to wear on your shoulder. And the bag is in pretty great shape. This is a really pretty like burgundy maroon color as well. I also really like this belted detail here on the front. You know like bags with like belted details are very very popular right now. They have like Demelier, um, Mon is it Manu something, um, of course the Birkin, Kelly, anything with like you know. So it's nice and clean on the inside. It has the magnetic snap across the top. There's a zipper, two open slip pockets. Beautiful condition. And there's the bottom. There's the back. And that is it. That is it for today. I hope you guys had fun checking out the store, seeing what I got. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow right early at 7 a.m. for a new video. Join me at one of the live sales. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Bye, guys.